All right, COVID cases are on the rise and new data from the CDC revealing the Omicron subvariants are now responsible for more than 70% of new infections in the U.S. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kemlani joins us now with the details. And Anj, what are the numbers looking like? Well, 70% of the BQ1, BQ11, that's really what we're looking at. And those are the Omicron subvariants that are supposed to be immune evasive to a degree. Now, it's important to remember that the uh, vaccines do still work to protect against severe disease and death. But this does increase the risk for those who are vulnerable. Those are over 65. And, uh, you know, anyone who has any kind of potential to contract this disease and have a severe case of it. So that is where some pressure is building on hospitals. We also know that the uh, New York for example, just in, uh, increased their uh, sort of alert status and is now recommending masks indoors. Not a mandate, but it is a, a you know a suggestion. We know that LA is weighing mask mandates, and the CD has reinforced their recommendation for mask mandates recently as or for masking rather indoors as a result of this rise in cases. And also important to point out that, uh, you know, hospitals are under pressure right now as a result of this plus RSV plus flu. We know that that's what's been pressuring the system. And that's important to point out, especially because we know how much this is impacting the pediatric population, right? Kids are not finding beds when they get really sick because some of those beds had been moved into uh, the adult population. And so they're sort of missing. And there's, there's this whole ongoing sort of high hospital structuring system in play. You know a lot about that in, in Hartford and out my neck of the woods. 